Okay, next presentation, team carbohydrates and fats. So, I'm going to give you the lowdown. Confusing topic for a lot of people um, when they're trying to lose weight, get in shape. And I'm going to give you a quick presentation on how you should be looking at each of these groups and what's the best way to eat them to maximize your results on this program. Okay, so this is what the starchy carbs look like. Uh, they are delicious. They are awesome. But eating in excess can actually make your waistline go the other way. So if you're struggling to lose weight, more than likely you're overeating in this department. And that's your starchy carbohydrates. So things like your potatoes, your wraps, your bread. Uh, not so much the sweet potatoes, but the pastas, the bagels, the rice, the cakes, the biscuits. All the really lovely stuff. Um, that is very, very difficult to stop eating once you start. Okay, so I'm going to show you exactly how to include these in your nutrition plan so you can keep getting awesome results because we don't need to leave them out completely, but it's just about being smart with them and mindful to your approach. Okay, our second group of carbs, believe it or not, is fruits and vegetables. Okay, so I really, really, really like the berry family. Um, probably the healthiest type of fruit you can be eating without um, putting on any weight. So you can eat these guys when you have sugar cravings. Um, they're full of nutrients and antioxidants and phytochemicals. So really good from a health perspective and a weight loss perspective. If you're unhealthy, then I definitely look at incorporating more berries into your nutrition plan. Um, and they're definitely under eaten big time in my view anyway from reviewing food diaries. Second thing is green vegetables guys. I've yet to come across a client who eats too much green vegetables and berries and can't lose weight or isn't in some way or shape that you know healthy okay i've just haven't come across that yet time and time again people make the same mistakes they don't eat enough vegetables fibrous vegetables and i see they've just put a tiny little bit of salad on their plate like iceberg lettuce or something that's really boring and untasty and they go oh yeah i eat salad yeah but they're not real i'm talking about bulking the plate up so loading it with cucumber Cherry tomatoes, spinach leaves, um, asparagus tips, you know, tender stem broccoli, all that kind of stuff. You can't eat too much green veg, guys, okay? It's low in calories, but it's high in nutrients, which means you're going to be eating less overall food. So when you double up the plate on your green veg, you're going to feel fuller for longer, okay? That's why women who tend to eat chicken and tuna and iceberg lettuce and they feel starving afterwards... They just didn't get enough fiber and protein into their meal, yeah? Next one, you got to focus on the fibrous stuff. I've just touched on this. So salad leaves. I like to keep tons and tons of bags of spinach leaves from Aldi and Lidl. Cherry vine tomatoes are delicious and they smell really nice and they help fill you up and they're so healthy for you. Uh, cucumbers as well. 99% water, but they're lovely to fill you up as well. Nice way of getting your vitamins into you. Your tender stem broccoli, it's... um. They sell them in the bags and you can just like microwave them or steam them or stir fry them. Really awesome. You know, people who come to me and say, I don't like green veg. I'm kind of going to say, well, look, you're in this position already because you fail to eat enough vegetables, uh, which is why you're in that unhealthy shape. So look, if you want to lose weight, you have a lot of weight to lose, then you need to eat green vegetables. OK, because you're obviously overeating on the starchy carbohydrates. OK. So Mediterranean veg, roasted veg, really, really awesome, tasty, delicious way of get, sneaking the vegetables into you if you don't quite like them. Uh, you're going to have to find ways to incorporate them in or you're not going to get results on this program. Simple as that. So things like your peppers, your onions, your broccoli. Um, what else am I trying to think of? Your asparagus, all that kind of chunky veg. You can whack it in the oven, put a bit of salt on it. Awesome. Sugar snap peas, convenience. They're in bags. You can't overeat them. They're awesome. They fill you up. Manja toot as well. Steamed boiled broccoli, cauliflower. Uh, don't boil it for 47 minutes. You want to steam it for about two to three minutes. Put a little bit of salt and lemon on them. They taste divine. Berries and citrus fruits. I really like to have lemons and limes. Squeeze them into my water. They help um, cleanse and make me feel a lot better for my liver as well. I like Also, I like to actually chew and eat lemons as well, which is a little bit weird. But I like to do that because it's it just makes me feel better. And it's a nice source of vitamin C. Very anti-cancerous as well. So really, really awesome. Berries are really good for the evening time. Whack them into your phage Greek yogurt. Frozen berries are awesome in your smoothies and stuff like that. Um, 
And if you have some sugar cravings, you need to get them into you because they're loaded with fiber and nutrients. And it's better to have something like that than a few Sambos and crisps and, you know, uh, slices of bread and bread in the evening. And you're going to feel guilty in the end for doing that and having your bags of sweets. That, that's not the same idea here. You need to kind of be honest about what you're doing and need to take this information on board. Bit of a warning about bananas. I tend to see too many food diaries with people who have about 47 bananas and they wonder why they can't lose weight. Bananas are healthy, but they are quite calorie dense, high in carbs, so that's why I keep them for the evening time, uh, one before bed, or if you've just had a training session, really good to have a banana then. I wouldn't start the day with bananas, uh, because you're going to find it very difficult to um, not overeat on your carbs, because once you start, you just can't stop. Next thing is you need to get your starches right. So one per day, max. Evening time recommended if you've trained at Super Mammy Academy that day. Post-workout is ideal to have the carbs in. Uh, serving size is crucial. Irish people love to have an entire plate full of carbs and go, Ah, sure, you need your energy. Where would you get your energy from? Uh, it's too much energy, guys. So you're going to have too much energy, too much calories. You're going to gain weight over time. So evening, I'd recommend to put it in then. Psychologically speaking, it's going to be better because if you start the day with carbs, you're just going to uh, find it very difficult to stop. Okay, so you're going to start, if you're going to have toast and orange juice and cereal and honey and bananas for breakfast, more than likely lunchtime is going to be a wrap with some bread again. Then the evening time, you're probably going to have pasta and rice and ice cream and Swiss. See, see what I mean? If you just have one evening serving, um, it's going to be a lot easier psychologically because then you can tell yourself, right, I'm having carbs, but I'm just going to have it later on in the day because you're going to maximize your protein and your fibrous carbohydrates, your veg and stuff like that with your meals. This size full is ideal. That's what you're cooked. So like a small sweet potato, a small banana after a workout, um, a tiny bit of rice, so basmati rice I like as well. Bananas, one banana after your workout or before bed is really good as well. It helps you kind of settle down if you're having trouble sleeping. I like wraps and microwave rice out of convenience on my training days. Uh, Aldi do those packs of rice, which are really, really good. Uh, about 80 cent for about eight slices one or two of those would be enough for you guys about 30 grams of protein per slice so that's ideal microwave rice i like the tilde stuff uh really awesome two minutes done half a bag would be ideal for you guys not the full bag uh, potatoes sweet potatoes same idea again they do take a lot longer to cook which i don't really like um you're waiting about 40 minutes if you pack them in the oven avoid the stodgy stuff really important okay People who tend to eat bread all day are the ones who struggle. They have bread for breakfast, bread for lunch, bread for dinner, rice and pasta and cakes and sweets and bagels and donuts. They are the people who find it very, very difficult to lose weight their whole lives, okay? Because they just overeat on their calories and they just, they can, um, they're not tracking anything, okay? So they don't realize the amount of food they're eating is holding them back. Progression training days only. Only have the carbohydrates on the day you train. So if you've had a workout that day, cool, whack them into you, uh, but don't go trigger happy on them and use it as a free pass to eat as many carbs as you want because you have a storage limit for starch to a certain point. Once you've reached that limit, you're going to spill them into your body fat stores and store them away as fat, okay? Next thing, fats. Um, women tend to hate them because they think fat is the enemy. It's not the enemy. Too much food is the enemy. So we got two types. So we got our unhealthy ones, partially hydrogenated fats. These are very um, inflammatory. So in other words, they contribute to pain and weight gain. This is not a good thing. These are man-made fats made in um, factories and plastic carbons have been added to them. So your body actually cannot do anything with these fats. All it can do with them is store them away as fat or contribute it to further symptoms down the line. Uh, with actually they've linked it to diabetes, uh, weight gain, um, all that kind of stuff, the nasty stuff you don't want. So on my plan, take these out. They are absolutely ridiculously unhealthy for you. Don't need them. These are the fats you do need. And controversially and ironically, these are the fats that women tend to avoid because they've heard so many conflicting things in the news and glassy magazines about them. Salmon is awesome, olive oil, avocados, eggs, coconut oil, fish oils. These are all the things that people don't eat enough of. You need essential fats in your plan. Um, notice I said essential because fat is essential in the, the human diet. Carbohydrates aren't. 
essential because you can still live off protein and your veg as well, but you need to be clear on how you include them in your plan. Fats definitely need them in there. Avocados are awesome. Olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Salmon is just tremendous for women, especially with hormones, and it's a really healthy fat for balancing everything. Brain health as well. Eggs are awesome. Coconut oil is really good. Yes, they're saturated, but you need small amounts of saturated fat to help fill you up and to actually contribute to weight loss in small amounts. Fish oil is really, really good as well. If you a vegetarian who doesn't eat fish, then you need to supplement with fish oil because you are missing out on something that is just truly powerful and truly incredible for your overall health. Uh, my tips, best thing, add avocados into smoothies. Um, you need a little bit of fat in your smoothie to help fill you up if you've just had the protein and the berries in there. And it makes the smoothie really creamy as well. Throw olive oil onto all your vegetables is plenty um, and that's going to help fill you up because you need to absorb the vet the vitamins in vegetables as well with a little bit of fat it's going to fill you up most women's problem is they just have iceberg lettuce with a tiny bit of tuna and they wonder why they're starving afterwards coconut oil you need to be cooking everything in that okay it's awesome and it actually helps your body burn its own fat as a fuel really really good nut butter and fruit i like as go-to tips for um Snacking on, I don't know why I have two T's there in me fruit. I should have gotten an F in me spelling test. Uh, so nut butter is very calorie dense. Watch out the amount of it you eat. If you're having an entire jar every few days, then you're going to gain weight. Okay, so you need to be very mindful about the amount of fat you're having. A tablespoon is probably max I would advise each day. That's about 135 calories in one tablespoon for nut butter, okay? Um, but you still need it. So if you're craving some chocolate in the evening, my go-to would be a tablespoon of that with some berries or um, an apple, apple slices. Yeah. A few nuts you want to snack on. I've come across too many food diaries where people are having an entire bag of nuts, and you're looking at about a thousand calories there, easily smashed without you even knowing about it. So nuts are healthy, but they're calorie dense. Okay, so you got to watch out for that. A handful is plenty, guys. Um, which is what I'm talking about here. Fat is high in calories. It's 9 calories per gram. A tablespoon of nut butter is about 135 calories. A bag of nuts, you're looking at about 1,000 altogether. You need to be disciplined with your fat intake. If you're having lots of fatty meats, like your steak, your salmon, your eggs, your olive oil, all that kind of stuff, uh, then you don't need to be adding additional fat into your plan because you've already gotten enough in your meats. But if you're having lean meats like turkey and prawns and chicken or if you're vegetarian then you need to definitely up your fats because you're definitely deficient in essential fats so you need to be having some fish oil supplementation um, or get some coconut oil into you or some olive oil or something like that you need to have something to help keep you going all right so you need to think about what protein are you having that day in each meal and every meal because if you don't maximize protein in each of your meals you're just going to end up binging every single evening on the wrong types of foods okay so that is it that is my quick presentation on carbohydrates on fats i really hope that helps you guys and clears up a lot of confusion on the topic uh, we're not anti-carbs it's about eating your fibrous carbs and having the starchy stuff in the evening time after you've worked out and uh, just be mindful of everything and just be aware how much you're eating and start tracking everything on fitness pal if you're not doing that then i can't really help you you're not going to get results out of this program uh, but if you have any questions always give me an email a text or come up to me at the end of a of a session and i and I'll, and I'll be glad to help you out yeah so that is it with the presentation on carbs and fats um go over this video as much as you can it's really going to help you out and that is it